Hey guys, how are you doing? Uncle Steph here. So, I have an interesting topic about uh, AI. Don't go to sleep now. It's about AI and or something that uh, was brought to my attention by an AI expert and uh, somebody who's doing research for one of the big companies. And it was interesting because it's a universal rule that I see in so many different things. So I'll just jump to it. So apparently with AI, right, you got all these different AIs coming out. You got ChatGPT and Grok and Gemini and all these others. And many, many others are coming out. They're coming out every day all of a sudden. Apparently when it comes to the LLMs, the learning language models, and by, I'm by no, I am by no means an expert, but I spoke to experts about this. And what I have heard from multiple sources, uh, the two most important things that will make an AI effective are not what you would think. You would think it would be the complexity of the algorithms, right? The math and the, uh, the voodoo science that allows the LLM to be generated. But actually, it's not that at all. What it is, it's pretty simple. It's the data, how good the data is that is used to uh, feed the uh, AI. So, for example, recently Google has now made a deal with uh, Reddit, and they're going to pay Reddit 60 million bucks a year so that they can access Reddit's data. A lot of data, a lot of conversations about important things, about dating and stuff on Reddit and other things. And uh, so get Google is paying Reddit $60 million a year, reportedly, going forward so that they can train their AI on Reddit's data. Um, Elon Musk with Twitter now X famously said, hey, you can't use my data, you paid 40 billion for it, on Twitter to train your AI unless you pay me. So, and there's a lot of good data on Twitter, you would imagine all the political discussions and the finance discussions. So that data is probably a premium data set because of the nature of the audience. The point being, it's not the algorithms that make the AI great or not so great, it's actually the data that the AI is sampling. So you have these court cases flying around about uh, ChatGPT using, for example, I think New York Times information. New York Times say, hey, you can't use our information to train your AI. The information is key. So what's the other key aspect that makes an AI uh, very uh, good or not? And it's, it's very simple. It's uh, a processing. It's processing. That's it. That's, that's it. The more juice you have, the more processing power you have, the more, I guess, you could iterate over that data set, which is the other key factor, the better the AI will be. It's not the algorithms, it's not any of that stuff. It's just, it's just basically data and CPU, basically how fast you can process that data. How many, I think it's probably, I'm guessing, I'm not an AI expert, I'm guessing it's iterations. The more you can do passes over the information, the more you can refine the responses, the better your results will be. That's how I write, by the way. When you write code, there's three passes. You write your first code from A to Z, even with crappy methods and functions in between. Just get, get something working. Then number two, second pass, you go back and you're refactoring that code. You're cleaning it up, cleaning it up. And by the third pass, you, you really polish it up and it's really nice. Uh, same thing with writing. I wrote, book, I wrote a book. Uh, links below. Anyway, I wrote a book and I wrote for magazines, many articles, and again, it was the same style. I would write the article from A to Z, do a first pass to clean it up, and do a second pass to do the final polishing. Uh, so yeah, I can see how having lots of processing power so you can r process information at record speed or as fast as you possibly can would make sense. And that's why NVIDIA is doing so well, right? Because uh, everybody's figured this out, so everybody's buying as much processing power as possible to make them more effective. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, uh, write to me below. I'm Uncle Steph, by the way. I mentor people in the ways of coding and so much more. It's a unique program. Nobody else does anything close to what I do, and that's why we get amazing results. Check it out. Much better than any boot camp out there, at least that I'm aware of. But I am biased.